Hey everybody, hello. Welcome to story time tonight. I hope our friends come on soon and join us because it's always more fun to tell a story when you have friends. Yes. So we'll just give you a minute here. Oh, I see a couple have come up. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. It looks like Marianne is there. And I can't tell who this picture is, but they always come up. Oh, I think it's you, Jackie. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome tonight. Howdy, howdy. If you come on, please come on and say hi so we know who you are. <laughs> I see Joan is up there. Yep. Welcome, welcome. Someone else is there too. The pictures, they're like little round, but when you put like a lot of things into it, um, you can't you can't tell who they are unless I had a magnifying glass sticking up there. Hey, Sister Joanne and Joan, nice to have you on. Hi, Shelly. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Dorothea, how you doing? I'm so happy that you got moved to a really nice place. Maybe the one you did live in was nice, but I know where you are. It's beautiful there. I went to visit uh, Sister Mannion there, and I loved her room. Um, it was just, just beautiful. Hi, Dennis. How are you? Nice to have you tonight. Um, and she was like down in the basement on the basement floor but when I went into her apartment I was like if I need to move to a facility like this I would want my room on the basement floor because it was low enough that she could actually sit at her window in a chair and be able to see right outdoors and the scenery was just so beautiful. So it says, I'm at Noah's drum lesson, so I hope you read loud tonight. <laughs> it's that bad, huh, Marianne? <laughs> well, hopefully, hopefully it will um, get done before uh, we get too far into our story tonight. <laughs> That's too funny. But it was so beautiful and um there was like bird feeders and the birds were out there and they were singing. I was like, oh my goodness, this is perfect. Because you know how sometimes you sit in a chair and you can't see out the window? A great big, huge window that you could see out of it was just beautiful. So I'm just uh, really happy that you have such a beautiful place. Well, we haven't seen our little friends come on yet from the Weston home. Hey, I was just about to say we haven't seen Alex yet. And there you are, Alex, Cynthia, and Arthur, and Mama Harris. Mwah. Kisses to you, Mama Harris. And of course, to you too, Alex. Mwah. <laughs> okay, Arthur and Cynthia's jealous. Mwah, mwah. There you go. <laughs> it's really great to have you all on with us tonight. Love having you. It's just a joy to be together. I hope that uh, you're having a good day. I know I am. I um, got up this morning with a whole long list of things that um, I needed to do today. And I have to move one over into tomorrow. But um, I think... I think I'm going to conquer the rest of my list today. And one of those things on my list was doing story time with you tonight. So when I get done, I'm going to be able to X that one off. Yes. So tomorrow, everything I didn't get done today, I'll put it on tomorrow's list. And it'll be tomorrow's priority job. And then we'll start a new one for Thursday and a new one for Friday. And hopefully not too much on Saturday and Sunday, but you just never know. You never know what a day holds forth. Hey, Sandy and Jack, we just talked to you. <laughs> nice to see you on tonight. 
um, it's kind of neat that you're having a date um, tonight watching story time. It's always nice to do story time with a friend, isn't it? Yeah, we're just going to give them a few more minutes to uh, get on here tonight um, before we move forward. And please, if you're if you're on with us tonight, please come on and say hi so we know that you're there. I don't know where my friend Willie is. He hasn't been on for a while, so I try to track him down. So Dorothea says, I love my place. I'm on the third floor and have a beautiful view from my bedroom and my front room, close to Diane and Mark, close to my family. That's the best, isn't it? Yeah, Diane and Mark have become an important part of your family, that extended family, and then your family that you raised and have been with. That's beautiful, and I'm glad that you're close to them. Hey, the Makpari family has arrived. Howdy, kids. How you doing? Hi, Grandma. Nice to have you on tonight. When I when I think about you guys, I'm like envisioning you, and I miss you kids so much. I haven't seen you since March. That is way too long, and I have a feeling that you have all grown taller. That's what I think has happened. So nice to have you with us tonight. I'm not sure where Penny is, but she hasn't come on yet. I hope she hurries up so that we can have story time together. I don't know where she is. Um, Dale is shirking his responsibility, isn't he? Hey, Kim Taylor, welcome. Hi, Jordan. Hi, Chance. And me. <laughs> I wonder if Mama's watching. Um, Sister Irma, are you in there too? It's so nice to see you guys on tonight. I miss you, Kim. And um, when they did the Christmas um, night and your kids came on, I was like, oh my goodness, little Chance. He's just growing up and Jordan is almost a teenager. Hokey smokes. You guys all need to stop growing. That's what I think. Yes. Hey, Alexenia Terriel. Nice to have you with us tonight. Hallelujah. I hope I said it right. That's a beautiful name. Very, very nice. Now you're showing up on Sandy and Jack's post, but you're not showing up on mine. So... Welcome tonight. Nice to have you. Very nice to have you. So we're going to get started. I'm so excited about this story tonight. And before I started, of course, I read it over and it just made me even more excited to read it to you again. So we pulled up a story from the Bernstein Bears again. And this is a really, really important thing for all of us to learn and all of us to think about. So the name of our story tonight is The Trouble with Secrets. Now, secrets, uh, they can be really bad. Sometimes we keep secrets because... We didn't want to tell anybody what we got them for Christmas, right? And so that's a good secret. But then there are secrets where we keep secrets and because we do, it's going to cause somebody to get hurt. Like um, we know we're not supposed to climb a tree because mom and daddy told us don't do that. But one of our siblings climbs the tree and says, keep it a secret and don't tell mommy and daddy. And we agree to that. Now, the thing, the reason that that story is so like comes to my mind so quick is because my mom told us that would be my brother Weldon my sister Marie, and me, not to climb the apple tree, okay? 
So we knew she couldn't see us. And we decided to keep it a secret, all of us, and not tell my mom. Okay? And we climbed that apple tree. Now, we were little at the time because an apple tree is not really that tall. But we climbed up that apple tree and all of a sudden, my sister fell out of the apple tree and she fell down and hit her head on these great big um, like metal posts because my dad used to put up this great big huge tent for tent revivals and those poles went into the tent and the tent to give you an idea would hold like a hundred people it was a big tent so it was this great big huge heavy pipe and she came down and hit her head and she we we were like marie 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 and she couldn't hear us and we all started praying now we were not necessarily praying distinctly for my sister but we knew that if my sister didn't like start to talk pretty soon we were going to get into trouble and as long as we could get her to talk then we could keep it a secret but my mother found out do you know how my mother found out about our secret what do you think what do you think happened that my mother started to ask questions. Anybody got an idea? Welcome, Mavis family. Hi, Eddos. Nice to have you girls and Sam with us tonight. Welcome. Who thinks that they know how my mama found out? Just put it in the comments and let's see. I'm going to tell you in a minute, but I'm curious if if Alex or Crystal Bell or Stacy or Samuel or Alex, if you might know, <laughs> Sister Irma said mothers always find out, and they do. Hi, Sister Mancini, welcome. Well, I will tell you, my mother found out because my sister hit her head so hard that she got a very big lump on it and it bruised and it was sore needless to say the three of us got into big trouble so so there's like secrets that you want to keep and then there's secrets that you don't want to keep because they can hurt people so no we can't blame you reverend klinsky you was not there <laughs> so we have to be very careful. There's Penny. Hi, Penny. We didn't think you were going to join us tonight, and here you are. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, Penny. So if you're just coming on, the story that we're going to read tonight is The Trouble with Secrets. And the scripture tonight is in 1 John chapter 4, 7, and it says, Dear friends, let us love one another for love comes from God. Isn't that kind of like um, sort of a funny scripture to have here? But it's really not. And as we read the story, I want you to think about that. Let us love one another for love comes from God. And it does. And so we're going to find out like how that scripture goes along with secrets. So here's our opening page. The Trouble with Secrets. Okay. And this stories and these pictures are by Stan and Jan Bernstein and Mike Bernstein. So this is a whole family that is involved in writing these wonderful stories that we read. Are you all ready to go? Okay. There go brother and sister bear. Friends Lizzie and Fred want to know where. Where is brother and sister bear going to? 
Lizzie and Fred want to know why their friends have that secret look in their eyes. Look at them. There they are. They're peeking at them. Did you ever wonder why they couldn't have just yelled out, Hey, where are you going? Nope. They knew that brother and sister bear had a secret. And so they were spying on them. In is this something our friends would do? Keep a secret from me and you? Oh, Lizzie and Fred are asking, is that what friends do? Keep secrets from me and you? What do you think? There's brother and sister walking down the path. Can you see their friends looking at them? Are you able to find them? <laughs> there they are. You are so good. They're right back there hiding behind a tree. <laughs> Lizzie and Fred are not going to let them out of their sight. Where are our friends going today? We know what? We'll ask Mr. J. There's Mr. J. What is he? Yep, you guessed it. He's a bird. He's a bluebird. But he just says, Screech! 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 He will not say where brother and sister are going today. He must have promised he would not say, said Lizzie and Jake along the way. There they are, asking him that question. And all he's doing is still screeching and singing out his song. He ain't going to give it away. But do you think that maybe he didn't know where they were going that day? I don't know. I don't know. So we follow our friends to where the path bends. Look at There they are. And there's Lizzie saying, don't tell. Shh, 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 shh. And there's brother and sister up the road where there's a bend in the road. That means they may go to the right or they may go to the left. We follow and follow and follow along. We hear Mrs. Cricket singing out her song of how thankful she is that God's love is so strong. <laughs> Look at her. Chirp, 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 chirp. She's a pretty cute little cricket, isn't she? <laughs> She's just sitting there singing. We ask Mrs. Cricket if she will say where brother and sister are going today. And there she is. She's talking to them. Or is she talking to them? I don't know. Nope. She just chirps, chirp, 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 chirp. Look at her. Oh, she's just so happy. She's just chirp, 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 chirp. She will not say. She will not give the secret away. She must have promised she would not say. Oh, my goodness. They, do you see how this secret that brother and sister are keeping is causing them to now start doubting everybody on the path i don't know you can you can tell me what you think but i think that they're like so suspicious of brother and sister that they think everybody in the forest is trying to keep a secret from them and i don't i don't think that i i don't think that that they even cared i don't think the bird cared i i just don't think they cared 
we make sure we are not seen as we move through the forest so dark and so green. Look at him. What's that on the leaf? Yeah, man, you guys are good. It's a ladybug. Yep. Wow. So they are really, really quiet in the forest. Did you ever walk in the forest and all of a sudden you step on a twig and it like snaps? It's so loud, isn't it? They got to make sure they don't step on any twigs or any leaves. They have to be so quiet. We follow and follow and follow along. Friends, brother, and sister are still going strong. Look at, there they are. Oh, they're just walking along, talking, and they don't know their friends are hiding out behind them, finding out where they're going, what secret they're keeping. Should we ask Mr. Skunk? He might know where brother and sister are about to go. No, <laughs> Isn't that a cute little skunk? Would you ask a skunk where brother and sister went? Hmm. On second thought, we don't think we ought. <laughs> Look at their faces. Oh, that skunk is stinky, huh? Woo! Did you ever drive down the road after a skunk has sprayed? Whoa! It is so stinky. Do you know one time I had a pet skunk? I'll have to tell you that story after we're done our book. I did. I had a pet skunk. We follow our friends through great grizzly bog where Mrs. Frog suns herself on great hollow log. <laughs> Look at Mr. Frog. That's what I like to do when I go and you're looking at a pond or, or a brook. I like to look for frogs. How about you? Yeah, I really like looking for frogs. And ribbits a prayer of thanks and praise for flies and water and hot, sunny summer days. Oh, look at his little face. Isn't he cute? <laughs> yep, he's just singing some songs to God. Yep, he is. Should we ask Mrs. Frog? It's worth a try. But she sticks out her tongue and catches a fly. You do it. Catch a fly. Oh, catch a fly. Ah, yuck, 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 yuck. We think it's time that we say goodbye. <laughs> there they are. And look at Mrs. Frog catching a fly. Did you ever see a frog catch a fly? Owen loves catching frogs. Yes. Welcome, Owen and Levi. Welcome. Oh, my. I've seen a frog catch a fly. It's quite a sight to behold. So we follow and we follow and we follow along. Friends, brother and sister, are still going strong. There they are following them. And there's brother and sister still talking. Have you noticed all these pictures? Brother is always the one that's talking. Sister just keeps listening and brother keeps talking and talking and talking and talking. Ebenezer, you're right. Gulp. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> Now we see old Mr. Croc. Ooh, look at, look at Mr. Croc. Look at their faces. I would have been scared too. Look at, look at how long and big he is. Ooh, he's you. 
humongous. Oh my goodness. What would you do? Would you ask Mr. Croc a question? He was sound asleep on a great big rock. We do not bother old Mr. Croc. We leave him sleeping. On his rock. I think that was a good idea for them to do. Look at that frog. Even that frog looks a little worried about that great big croc. <laughs> He's keeping an eye on him. He don't want him to go chomp. Oh, 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 and eat him too. Whoa, did I scare you? <laughs> That's what happens when a crocodile is coming after you. They want to chomp you and you have got to run. Oh, we're getting tired following along and following and following and following and following along. There is no need for secrets or sneaking, for God made us friends. If they'd share, we'd stop peeking. <laughs> They're getting tired. Look at them. But there goes brother and sister bear. They're still going. I wish they would just turn around and tell us where they're going. They're getting tired. Will this following never end? They ask each other. Look at, oh my goodness. Will we ever get to where we're going? But wait, wait, wait. Brother and sister are rounding another bend. Ooh, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? They're getting around another bend. And look at that standing right there. The secret of brother and sister bear. It's a clubhouse they made from pieces of junk. Look at, there they are. They're seeing what the big secret has been. What do you think's gonna happen? Who told, who told, asked brother. Was it Mr. Skunk or Frog or Croc or Cricket or Jay? Who told you our secret and showed you the way? Oh my goodness, they're not happy, are they? <gasps> Whoa, look at brother's face. Ooh, he don't look very nice at all, does he? And look at sister, they're, they're not happy. Welcome, Sister Tracy. They're not, they are not happy at all that their friends found out their secret. Nobody told, nobody, though you were really going strong. We just followed and followed and followed along. Brother and sister looked glum for a while, but being upset just isn't their style. Then they both began to smile. Look at there they are telling them, nobody told us. We just followed you. Look at their faces. Oh, my goodness. Are you ever mean to your friend? Don't be, don't be mean to your friend. It don't make them feel good. And they followed because they liked being with their friends and they wanted to be with them that day. And so that's how they found out where they were. They begin to follow them all along the path. And Lizzie and friend, they just wanted friends to play with, huh? Yeah. So they were glad.
Because remember it said, then they both began to smile. They were glad God blessed them with friends like Lizzie and Fred. We're glad you followed us here, they said. Oh, that's got to be making them all feel a lot better, isn't it? It's a pretty nice clubhouse they built, and it looks like there's plenty of room for all of them to become a part of it, doesn't it? Secrets are fun, but it's more fun to share. So welcome, said brother and sister bear. So now they're going to have people that's going to be able to come and play at their playhouse with them. Isn't that nice? Yes, it is. It's very, very nice. So let's go back to our scripture that we read when we first started our book tonight. I got to go back here and find the beginning of the book. Dear friends, let us love one another for love comes from God. Do you think that their friends felt like they were loved when brother and sister like wouldn't tell them what they were doing? And Lizzie and Fred, like they wanted to play that day with their friends, but their friends just kept one thing, just one thing away from their friends. And yeah, they would have had fun probably playing together, but think of how much fun they had playing with their friends, Lizzie and Fred. I know they had lots and lots of fun. And you're right, Sister Irma, it is always good to have friends. Friends are the best gift in the world. Sometimes friends can be our sisters, like Sister Irma wrote that in, so that makes me think about this. Irma is still best friends with her sister Pearl, and they talk together, and they do things together, and they help each other out. They are best friends, and they're sisters, like Bernstein Bears, brother and sisters, they were brother and sisters, but they were best friends. Well, that's the way Irma and Pearl is. But they have another friend, and that's my sister-in-law, Sue. Sue loves Irma and Pearl. And she talks about her friends all the time. And they like to get together and do things because they're friends. And so, Sister Irma, you are right. Always good to have friends. Friends are the best thing ever. And it says, let us love our friends. Let us love our brothers and our sisters. Let us love one another. For love comes from God. And then that brings us to the scripture that says, for God so loved the world. If you know that scripture, then let's say it together. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. See, God wanted to be our friend. And there's a scripture that I just love and I think about it all the time because it says he no longer calls me a servant, but he calls me his friend. I love, I love that scripture because I don't want to be just somebody that has to do something for somebody, but I want to be somebody that loves to do things for others. And so Jesus so loved us. He so loved us that he said, I'm going to make you my friend. <laughs> Isn't that nice? And I so love Jesus that I made him my friend. Have you kids out there? Have you made Jesus your friend? Like, do you like to sing for him? Do you like to talk to him? Do you like to pray? 
Do you like to like look up and say, oh, thank you, God, for the birds that are singing. Thank you that there's water for me to go swimming in. Thank you for snow so I can go sliding. <laughs> wow. I just seen where Reverend Lottenbach took Theo to this great big huge mountain and they got on these tubes and they went down the mountain. Oh my goodness. If there was no snow, what would they do? Right? And they were all dressed up and I'm like, oh my goodness, that looks like so much fun. And so it is just so important that we love each other as God loved us. He made us. He does good things for us. We have mummies and daddies. And he planned for us to be right where we are because he loved us so very, very much. So, dear friends, let us love one another for love comes from God. 1 John 4, 7. That is, that is just a beautiful, beautiful story. So if you're going to keep a secret, make sure your secret isn't to hurt anybody. See, I like to surprise people. So if you're going to like do a surprise party for someone, you have to keep secrets. You can't tell them everything. You just can't. So let's hear from Sister Dorothea because she's our greatest wisdomer here. She says, love your storytelling. We all need friends, my best for 64 years and the other for 61 years. Our sons were like brothers. Wow. Do you know, Sister Dorothea, that one of your friends you have had as old as I am, I'm 61 and you have had one friend that long. Wow. Now I'm going to ask all of you, seeing we're talking about special friends, if you would help me to pray because I had a special friend named Joan Miles in school and her and I were best, best friends. And somehow we lost track of each other and I have tried my best to find her. So could you help me to pray that I would be able to find my dear friend, Joan Miles? Um, we ate lunch together at school. I just, she was my very best friend, Joan Miles. So could you help me to pray that I'll be able to track her down and find her because I just miss her and I would love to know where she is and what she's doing and just go to lunch together and get acquainted. So if you could help me pray that I could find her, that would be awesome. And I think, I think she is a year older than me, or maybe we're the exact same age. But anyway, that's pretty amazing, Sister Dorothea. Thank you for sharing that about your friend, 64 years and 61 years. That is pretty impressive. Thank you, Sister Irma. And I know if you're saying you're going to pray, I know Kim is going to pray and Chance is going to pray. And I know my friend Jordan is going to pray. So thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Adu family. Oh my goodness, my prayer warriors are coming on board. And that means God's going to answer prayer. Hallelujah. You know, that's the thing that I miss so much about Jubilee Tabernacle. Because remember the times we brought prayer requests there and we all went to prayer and God answered prayer. Oh, Sister Shelley, we got some prayer warriors. Hallelujah. So thank you. Thank you. And I'm hoping to bring back the good report about my friend Joan because she was great. Wendy says, I have a friend I grew up with, lost track of her in our 20s. I will certainly play, pray that you rekindle your friendship. And we will do the same for you, Wendy. 
It's so important to have friends. It's just so important. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Sister Vera. Oh, my goodness. I can feel the answer is a coming. I know you will, Kim. I know you guys will not. Oh, Penny's going to pray to. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's great. And you know what is really great is that you are all my friend. I, I love having friends. Friends are like one of the most important things ever. Hallelujah. So we are just happy. It looks like um, Dorothea had some more friends, but two of them have gone home to be with Jesus. So thank you. Thank you so much for praying that I locate my friend. She was a great, great friend. And while we were friends, she actually got the Holy Ghost. And it was so exciting. And the day that she came back to school and she had got the Holy Ghost, it was a great big, huge cafeteria. And she came running through the door all the way to the end of the cafeteria, yelling my name, Ellie, Ellie, Ellie. And she got to me and she said, I got it. I got the Holy Ghost. And we just all shouted together. Oh, I loved my friend Joan. So I'm believing God that I'm going to be able to find her. So it's really, really great. Um, and it was great to be with you tonight. I hope that uh, you're taking part in the fast um, because we all know that there's different ways to fast. And you kids, it's important that you eat. Um, but sometimes in fasting, you can make that sacrifice to not eat chocolate for three weeks. Oh, oh no, chocolate, help me. That's me because I love chocolate. Love chocolate. Um, sometimes we can decide to not play all of the video games we play. Take some of them away. Sometimes all of them away. There's all different ways that you can fast and get close to God. So I hope you're doing good. And if you need any help, just call the office and we'll have somebody give you a call. But it's good. It's good to get close to Jesus, isn't it? And so that's why we're fasting, so that we can get close to Jesus. And I I have to take some medicine, so... I have to make sure that I eat before I take it. And tonight, we just had like some plain, plain soup. And it tasted so good. I said to Jerry, this is not right. It shouldn't taste this good. But I'm thankful and I'm grateful to God. Just had a tiny, tiny little bit. In fact, my stomach is starting to rumble now. But it's okay because... I just want to be so, so close to God that nothing else matters in the world but Him. So I'm excited about that. Hello, TME Rhodes. I hope you're not just joining us now because you missed my story. If you are just joining us, you can always go back and listen to it. It's a great story about secrets. Yes, you can't miss it about secrets. It's nice to have you with us tonight. And, um, I hope you've had a wonderful, wonderful day. I know you kids are back in school, and um, I had to drop some things off tonight at Sister Renee's house, and she said it was a long day of school today for her boys. So anyway, that's what we had last night for supper with salad. But um, I know, and after you have that break and you sleep in so long, and you stay up later, it's hard on that Monday morning after to get up and go. You know how I know? Because I had to wake up Monday morning and I had to go to work. And there was lots of work for me. Oh my goodness. I I started in the morning about 8 o'clock. And I didn't get done all of my work until almost 8.30 at night. That's that's a long day. So anyway, it was good to be back. It was good to help families. It was good to be a part of making people happy. So it's good, isn't it? It's good to be a friend. So this week, for your homework, find someone to be a friend to. 
And if you're always fighting with your siblings, start telling them what they mean to you, okay? Um, and be nice to them too. Be very, very, very nice. You you have to be nice to your brothers and sisters. Don't be mean to them. Don't hit them. Don't um, don't don't do mean things. Play with them. Be nice to each other. And be nice to your friend and make sure you call your friends because I know that they are really missing you. So, um, so we're excited tonight. So I got to, before we close out, I got to tell you when I was like about five years old, I was in kindergarten. We went to visit this family and they had a pet skunk and they needed to get rid of it. Now they had taken that thing out of it that allows it to spray so it couldn't spray us, but I do have to say it still stunk a little bit. And so we brought it home and we put it in our basement. And that's not a bad thing because if it came up the stairs, we had like this little hole that the skunk was able to go outside and it was all fenced in a big area and he could play out there. And I loved this skunk. Oh, I loved this skunk. And I would go down into the basement after dinner and I would play with him all the time. I loved this skunk. And then one day I was coming up the stairs and he did not want me to leave. He wanted me to stay and play with him. And he started to come up the stairs and he didn't mean to do it. But he took his paw and he went to rub it on my leg. And when he did, he cut way into my leg. And so my mom said to my dad, that skunk is going. And we cried and we cried and we cried because we had to get rid of that skunk. But my dad found this place that took in like animals that had been hurt and helped them to get better and took in animals like our skunk. And so we made the long drive and we dropped off my friend, the skunk. But the great thing about it was we were able to go back and visit him. And he did know me. I remember when we would go back, he would always come to see me. I love animals. Can you tell that I love animals? And then we had rabbits and we had this little tiny, tiny dog. And this dog, it was a chihuahua. It had puppies and they were like really, really little puppies and they were fat and all kinds of hair on them. They were so cute. And so the rabbit would like hop around the yard and those little puppies would like slatch onto its tail, like actually bite the tail. And the rabbit would just keep hopping. It didn't seem like it hurt it at all. And those those little puppies would like go up in the air and splatter down. And their little legs were like all flying out on the sides. And they wouldn't let go of the rabbit. And it would hop around the yard and they'd be like, boom, 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 boom. And we would just die laughing. That was so, so funny. That was hysterical. So those are some of the things that we had when I was five. Oh, and when I was younger, we had, we had like some mice and I would climb in there and play with them. I just, I just love animals. I'm telling you, um, Maybe when I get to heaven, I'll have a zoo in my mansion. Who knows? <laughs> so Shelly says that we had a rabbit that would go into people's purses and steal their chewing gum. Oh my goodness, your rabbit loved chewing gum? That is too funny. Penny wants a giraffe. <laughs> wow, Penny. <laughs> that That is quite an animal to have in your house. I'm sure Matt and Marie are going to get you a giraffe. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let's see. Well, someone has not um, gone, or I should say they've already gone to bed and they're getting up. Our friend, he says, good morning. 
happy that you were able to go back and visit him. Um, yes, me too. Me too. I was happy to be able to go and visit. It kind of made it a little easier. Oh, Irma says Jordan wants a puppy. Ah, puppies are fun, but puppies are a lot of work. You have to take them out to the bathroom and you have to feed them every day, sometimes two times a day. They need to have snacks. They need to run. They need to play. Oh, my goodness. But they are fun to have. You're right. You are right. Maybe one day we'll get some. Wendy says she had parakeets. Yes, parakeets. Did your parakeets talk, Wendy? Or did they just chirp? Jerry's mama, she had parakeets and they would actually talk. And they loved her. Oh my goodness, they would come and sit right on her shoulder and they'd lay down and go to sleep. Oh, she loved her parakeets. As long as I knew Jerry's mama, she always had parakeets, always. So anyway, well, I just want all of you to know that I love you bunches and bunches and bunches. Wendy's parakeet tried to talk. Yeah, they, they, like, to, they like to talk and they like to do a lot of things. You, you have to talk to them all the time to get them to talk all the time. I went to uh, this place in Pennsylvania and they, they had a... Um, a parakeet, a parrot. They had a parrot, not a parakeet. And um, so I would stand there and I'd keep talking to it and I would try to get it to say hello and all these things. So I must have been there, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes trying to get this bird to talk to me. And it wouldn't. It would just, wah, wah, you know, keep squawking and everything. So I went to walk away and it goes, hey, where are you going? And I cracked up. Hey, where are you going? I was like, so I came back and I talked some more. And then I went to walk away and it goes, hey, where are you going? <laughs> so that was too funny. I was cracking up. Yes. <laughs> I didn't forget our hugs. I just am so caught up with our animal stories, Penny. I'm sorry. I didn't forget our hugs. I promise. And so I just want you to know that I love you. You ready, Penny? To the moon. All around Jupiter, all the way around Mars. Tonight, I think we're going to do another loop, go twice around Mars, whoosh, through the Milky Way, and all the way back to my heart. Oh, I just love you all so much. Are you ready to give everybody their good night hugs? We have got to go a long way because we got to reach our friend in Ghana. You ready? Uganda. You ready? Get your get your hugs on. But before you do, we got to gather everybody in. Get in here, Alex. Get in here, Jordan and Chance. Come on, Penny. Get in here. Get get every. Come on, Addos. We got Rumi Makparis. Come on. Get all on in here, all of you, senior kiddos. Come on, get in here. All right, get him, get him in your heart. Tuck him, tuck him right in. Tuck him in. Okay, hold him in there. Got him all in. All right. Here we go on the count of three. It's got to be a big, big hug tonight. One, two, three. Oh, I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Oh, I just love you so much. Now make sure when you get into bed tonight, that you tell Jesus how much you love him. Because remember, he loves you. He is love. He loved us so much that he said, you can pray to me when you're not feeling good and I'll be there. He said, you can pray to me when you don't know what to do at school and I'll help you. He is the best friend ever. So tonight we're going to say good night to all of you. I love you all so very, very much. Thank you for joining us. Share our story time with someone else on your phone. Just hit share if you think that our story time will be a joy to them. And uh, let's get the word out because sometimes you just got to have somebody tell you a story. You just have to. You know, I had Theo over to my house and he read me a story. 
actually we ended up taping it. So if you go on to FGIC, you can hear him reading his story. And I, oh, I just felt the best in the world. So read somebody a story. Hey, Sister Faye, welcome, welcome, welcome. Love you. Love you all so very, very much. Keep keep on your fast. Keep getting really, really close to Jesus. I love you too, Tracy. Just take this time. Don't say, oh, I'm fasting. Just say, I'm getting closer to Jesus. And I'm so happy about that. I love you all. God bless you. Good night. Mwah. Love you. God bless. Bye.